Explore the infamous ADX Florence, known as the world's safest prison, in this captivating video. Learn about the high security measures and advanced technology that make it nearly impossible for inmates to escape. Discover how this maximum security facility ensures the safety of both the prisoners and the staff. Stay tuned to witness the inner workings of one of the most secure prisons in the world. Stay informed and subscribe for more fascinating content. High security prisons are designed to guard dangerous individuals with severe criminal backgrounds. However, there is a next level, Supermax prisons, classified as ADX prisons. ADX Florence is one of the most well-known for housing extremely dangerous individuals and having radical security measures. It is highly likely that Joaquin, El Chapo, Guzman will spend the rest of his life in this prison. Join me and discover incredible details about this prison. We will be analyzing its structure, its complex security measures, and why no one has managed or attempted to escape. Additionally, you will learn about some individuals who will be future companions of El Chapo for a long time. Without further ado, join me to learn about ADX Florence, the most secure prison in the world. Colorado is a wonderful state located in the western United States, with large divisions of Rocky Mountains. Nature abounds in this place, with vast plains and green forests, and it also has prosperous and modern cities. However, this state also hosts the most secure prison in the United States and the world. ADX Florence, whose official name is the Administrative Maximum Facility of the U.S. Penitentiary. It is also nicknamed the Alcatraz of the Rockies, or Supermax. It is located in Fremont County, about 13 kilometers from Florence, Colorado, and sits right at the foot of a massive mountain range. It was inaugurated in 1994 to imprison and isolate criminals considered too dangerous for the average penitentiary system. The prison population is exclusively male and includes some of the most dangerous terrorists, drug traffickers, serial killers, guerrillas, supremacists, and mobsters in the world. It is estimated that 95% of the inmates are held in ADX Florence for having chronic disciplinary problems in other prisons, for killing other inmates or guards, or for posing a strong threat to national security. The harsh conditions of ADX Supermax have earned it a place in the Guinness Book of Records as one of the most secure prisons in the world. The prison's design and daily operations ensure total control over all prisoners at all times. The structure, approximately 150,000 square meters, has a monolithic design that makes it difficult to navigate the interior for those unfamiliar with it, making it virtually impossible for inmates to know where their cell is located. However, the modern security measures implemented in this prison are the most important. Whether inside or along the outer perimeter, there is always a security measure. There are about 12 sniper towers that are on guard 24-7, 365 days a year watching every tiny movement outside the prison. In addition, there are strategically distributed security cameras to avoid any blind spots, attack dogs, laser technology, and motion detectors installed in key locations, and pressure-sensitive plates located just beside a nearly 4-meter barbed wire fence. There are over 1,400 steel doors that are remotely controlled, and if there is even a slight suspicion of an escape attempt, pressing a panic button is enough to completely seal the prison. Nothing gets in and nothing gets out. When an individual arrives at ADX Supermax, they are placed in one of the six prison units, depending on their criminal background. Unit H is specifically designed for terrorists, and others like Range 13 are ultra-secure, isolated cells for misbehaving inmates, who are subject to many more restrictions than others. To be transferred to less restrictive units, inmates must maintain good conduct for a specific time and achieve a positive institutional adjustment. This does not mean it is any less restrictive. Inmates spend at least 23 hours a day locked in their 2 by 3.6 meter cells, which have solid, soundproof walls that prevent contact or communication with other prisoners. The doors are made of solid steel with a small slot for food and have an interior graded wall with a sliding door that is remotely controlled. The cells are equipped with a bed, a desk, and a chair, all made entirely of concrete and have a stainless steel sink and toilet. There is no dining hall or cafeteria. Meals are delivered to each cell three times a day by guards. Inmates in range 13 are isolated from other inmates at all times and for prolonged periods often lasting six years or more. Their only significant contact with other humans is with the prison guards. During the first three years, 
ADX inmates remain isolated in their cells an average of 23 hours a day. The most secure cells have remotely controlled doors leading to pathways colloquially called corrals, which open to a private recreation area. The so-called empty pool is a concrete area with skylights where inmates go alone. Then they can only take about 10 steps in any direction or walk about 15 meters in circles, always monitored by dozens of guards. Many inmates who have been confined in ADX Florence describe it as hell, but a cleaner version. The prison operates under a very powerful strategy that many experts consider torture, solitude. To this, we must add extreme sensory deprivation. Limiting their senses, not hearing, not seeing, or not feeling enough. The inmates are left to their own thoughts, often leading to hallucinations, memory loss, and increasingly irritable behavior. It is not uncommon for many inmates to develop mental illnesses or for those who already had them to worsen. To date, the prison houses more than 400 of the most violent criminals and is the number one detention center for convicted terrorists. The personalities we can find in ADX Florence are diverse. Here are some of them. Zakaria's Musawi, an Al-Qaeda operative who played a key role in the 9-11 attacks, he is serving six life sentences. Simone Trinidad, a former member of the Colombian FARC, who was involved in the kidnapping of three American military contractors. Ramzi Youssef, an Al-Qaeda member and mastermind of the 1993 World Trade Center bombings. Robert Hansen, a former FBI agent convicted of espionage in passing classified information to the Soviet Union for over 20 years. He is currently serving 15 life sentences. Michael Swango, an American serial killer who was involved in poisoning with lethal injection 60 colleagues and patients. Osiel Cardenas Gillen, former leader of the Gulf Cartel, guilty of trafficking thousands of kilos of marijuana and cocaine to the U.S., money laundering, and threatening federal agents. Barry Mills, one of the leaders of the Aryan Brotherhood, convicted of armed robbery but has committed multiple murders inside penitentiaries, an extremely dangerous individual. Nosher Gawadia, engineer and designer of the B-2 bomber, convicted of sharing classified information with the People's Republic of China in the production of cruise missiles. Juan Garcia Abrigo, a Mexican drug trafficker and former head of the Gulf Cartel, serving 11 life sentences. Luis Felipe, former leader and founder of the New York gang Latin Kings, accused of drug trafficking and multiple murders inside and outside prison. Theodore Kaczynski, known as the Unabomber, guilty of manufacturing explosives and sending them to end the lives of three people. Francisco Javier Arellano Felix, one of the leaders and founders of the Arellano Felix cartel, accused of moving thousands of kilos of marijuana and cocaine, committing acts of violence and corruption. Terry Nichols, convicted of the Oklahoma City bombing where 168 people died. He is currently serving 161 life sentences. Now, the trial of the century, which lasted for months and where irrefutable evidence was presented, declared Joaquin, El Chapo, Guzman guilty of 10 counts, including drug trafficking, money laundering, and possession of firearms. It has been proposed to Judge Kogan that El Chapo serve his sentence in ADX Florence due to his escape history and the threat he poses to national security. Whether or not he is taken to ADX Florence, Joaquin Guzman Laura will never again see the light of day and will spend the rest of his life locked up in a maximum security prison in the U.S. However, El Chapo, Guzman will not be the only renowned Mexican criminal in ADX Florence, as he will share the prison with Osiel Cardenas Gillen, former leader of the Gulf Cartel, and Francisco Javier Arellano Felix, leader of the Arellano Felix Cartel. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with upcoming videos.